Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is my second series of going through Edexcel IGCSE exam questions. This is topic number eight. It is frequency tables. Let's get into it. Question. Um, yeah, what's important here that there are 80 motorbikes, and we've got the table there. It says write down the modal class. The most frequent class um, happens to be the one with the biggest frequency, and that one is this one right there, which is 70 to 80. Okay, um, estimate the mean speed. Okay, so how do we find the mean of a frequency table? Well, um, what we need is we need the midpoints. So the halfway point between 40 and 50 is 45. because so we're gonna estimate that that row we're traveling at 45. This row we're gonna estimate is 55. This row 65, this row 75, and this row 85. And then because there were 10 motorbikes in this row and they were traveling average 45, then total speed of those 10 would be 10 times 45, which is 450. And then we times the next two together and that will give us 880 times the next frequency by midpoint gives me 1235. And then the next one gives me 1725. And then finally, the last one gives me 1020. Now we're gonna add up all of these speeds. And we're gonna do that to find out how much speed all of the motorbikes were traveling. Uh, so we add them all up like so, and we get a total combined speed of 5,310. Now some people here will see that there are five rows and they will divide by five. That is not right. If anything, I mean, that gives us a thousand miles an hour. I mean, no motorbike is going a thousand miles an hour. We have to divide by the total frequency, which is actually given up here as 80. If it wasn't given, then we would add up this column here and that would be 80 for the total frequency. So the overall mean is this divided by that, and then you just do that on your calculator, and it's asked it to three significant figures, so that would be 66.4. Job done. Okay, next question, um, and we, again, we get given the frequency, that's gonna be helpful. One of the 70 friends is going to be chosen at random. Find the probability that this friend spent more than 24 euros. So more than 24 is either this row or this row. So they have a total of 25 plus six friends out of the 70. So that is 31 out of 70. And let's just leave that as a fraction. Lovely. Now, estimate for the mean, okay? Um, the midpoint here is uh, four, because it's halfway between zero and eight. The midpoint here is 12. And this one is 20, this one is 28, and this final one is 36. Okay, and then we're gonna multiply by the frequencies, and that's gonna give us our uh, values for the amount of money overall. Okay, so um, I've already typed them into my calculator. I'm not, I've not got some sort of hack which gives me the answers instantly. But that one's 24, this one's 168, uh, this one is 380 and then uh, 700 and then finally that should be 216 yes lovely okay we add up this column to find the total amount of money so what we do is we type 24 plus 168 plus 380 plus 700 plus 216 and that gives us 14.88. And then luckily we already have the frequency, so we don't need to add up the frequency column. So to find the mean, we just do 14.88 divided by 70. And that gives us an exact, no it doesn't. So, well, I can tell it's not exact. It says give your answer to the two decimal places. That's always a good indication. If it doesn't say that, then you would expect an exact value. Um, but this is two decimal places, so it is two, six. 
Perfect. Okay, next question is, whoops, is a bit trickier. Um, so we don't have a class here, so we're just going to use the exact value of number of points. Um, so we're going to just multiply the exact number of points by how many times that they achieved those particular number of points. And then this is going to give us the total number of points. And then if we divide by the total frequency, we will get the mean, which is 2. Okay, so my equation should look something like this. So 0 times 13 plus 1 times 17 plus 2 times 8 plus 3 times x plus 4 times 11. I'll need to divide that by the total frequency, which is 13 plus 17 plus 8 plus x plus 11. And that will equal the mean, which is 2. Okay, so let's do the top row first, and let's add up all the numbers. So we've got 0 times 13, well obviously that is uh, 0. 1 times 17 is, well, 17, plus 2 times 8, plus 4 times 11. So that's 77, and we've got that 3x there as well, don't forget about that. Okay, on the denominator, we've got 13 plus 17 plus 8 plus 11, 49, and plus that x down there as well. And all of that equals 2. Multiply across, so I'm going to times both sides by 49 plus x, which is going to clear that denominator, and it's going to multiply the other side as well. Then going to expand the brackets. So that's going to give me 2 times 49 is 80, 98 plus 2x. Let's subtract 2x from both sides. So that becomes 1x because 3 minus 2 is 1. And then let's subtract 77 from both sides. And that gives me 21. So x equals 21. Okay, uh, final question. And it's the trickiest of the lot. Um, we have a we have a maths teacher. Hey, that's me. At a school, asked a group of students how far in kilometres each student travelled to school each day, and they put them in categories. So we don't know the exact value of any of the students, but they're in categories. Uh, the teacher calculated the estimate for the mean total distance over the whole group of students was four point two five. Work out the value of x. Okay, so what we're going to need is the midpoints, because those are roughly how far each person in that class travelled. So for the first one, it is 1, and then it's 3, and then it's 5, and then it's 7, and then it's 9. And then we'll take those and we'll multiply them by the frequencies, and that will give me an estimate for how far each of the row would have travelled. So this one is x, because 1 times x is x. This one is 33, this one is 40, this one is 42, and this one is 45. And then we would add those up. So let's do that. So the sum of the frequencies uh, times midpoints is 33 plus 40 plus 42 plus 45. So it's 160 plus the x as well. And then we're going to divide that by the total frequencies, which I'll get when I added up the this column. So we've got an x again, and we've also got 11 plus 8 plus 6 plus 5, 30. So we have 30 plus x. And we're told this is equal to 4.25, because the mean is the sum of the midpoint times frequencies divided by the sum of the frequencies. Okay, clear the denominator by multiplying across to the other side. So I get 4.25, 30 plus x. Um, we're going to expand the brackets. 4.25 times 30. Let's figure that out. That is 127. Uh, whoops, 127.5. And then that's going to give me 4.25x. Subtract x from both sides. 
cancels the x over there and gives me 3.25x here minus 127.5 from both sides gives me uh, 32.5 and that's equal to 3.25x so we can divide through and that should give us 10 voila and we're done hope that was useful try the next topic or if you want more questions try series one bye for now